Hello, welcome back to the channel and another video. Got the little Radio Oddity CS47 on the bench today. Now I did make a full review on this radio including on-air testing so if you missed that and you're interested to know how this performed on-air I'll do a little pop-up just in the corner just about there so perhaps you might just want to go away and watch that. But the purpose of this video is that I found out via Simon the Wizard so this is going to be called the wizard mod from now on I found out that there's a modification you can make on this radio which includes no soldering it's completely reversible so it doesn't damage the radio in any way but it increases its maximum transmit power on FM from 4 watts up to a maximum of 15 watts so we're going to test that on this video so we'll make the modification put this on a power meter and we'll see exactly what we get out of this radio. So anyway, let's get cracking, let's get into it. This is our setup we're going to be using for the testing. We're going to be using Gary's dummy load there. Just a note to yourselves, if you're going to test the radio or if you're going to key up the radio without an antenna connected, always run it into a dummy load. Don't just key up with no antenna or just on the coax because it will be imbalanced and the radio will heat up quite quickly and you can end up damaging the radio. For this test I'm going to use channel 30 on the mid block, that's 27305, that's my most popular channel there. So the first test is Euro mid block FM keying up now. And there you go, steady 4.2 watts. So that's exactly how it ships from the factory. And nothing wrong with that at all. Sometimes they go a little under 4 watts, but that one just slightly over. And then I'll do the same on AM, then I'll have to be quiet because my voice will affect the signal through modulation. Going to AM now. And there you go, hopefully you saw that, about 4.2 watts again. So that's pretty good, that's what you'd expect. As I say, with this mod, according to what I've read, we should be able to adjust it from 4 to 8 up to I believe it's 15 watts on FM and we'll see what we got on AM but I think it's about 8 watts on AM so we've got to go inside the radio so let's do that now and let's do the mod Okay, that's we're now inside the radio. This is the bit we're interested in. I'll zoom in for you just here. So here we are, we're not zoomed in. What we're interested in is this little jumper here. Can you see that? At the moment that is set from the factory, that is shorting across numbers, pin, pins numbers one and two. That's standard power. In a second, we're going to pull that off and we're going to move it so it shorts between number two and number three, and that should give us the extra power. There's also this white wire. Now, again, from what I've read, if you are to, if you were to cut that, break that wire, that would open up the frequencies on which the radio will receive and transmit. I believe it's something. It takes it way down to, I think it's 25.4 megahertz, and then right up the other end of the scale, it goes past the 10 meter band, and it finishes at about 30 point something megs. Personally. Um, I'm not going to bother with that, I'll leave that alone, I don't need this radio to work on those frequencies. Also on the President Grant 2 there was a very similar mod where you could open up the radio but people did say that it, it upset the preset channels. This one I'm not sure but we're not going to touch that so what we're going to do we're just going to slide that over and then we'll put it back on the meter and we'll see whether we've got extra power. That's it, that's all we have to do, that's the wizard mod complete. Now hopefully when we put this back together in a second and we fire the radio up, there should now be an extra option in the menu for high, low and medium power. And then we can test it on the meter. So let me put this back together and let's see if we've had a successful mod. Right, let's, um, let's switch on. Hopefully we've not lost our settings. Okay, so that's come up 
um, channel D. So that's, we had it on uh, UK, didn't we? I've got AM and FM on zone D. So I wonder if is that, what is D? Would that be Deutschland, German, Dutch? Let's just see what channels we get as we go up. Oh, can you see that? We've got alpha channels. That's cool. You, alpha channels are channels that are split between two different channels. They used to be called like secret channels, but so it's actually introduced alpha channels. And there's another one there, 15 and 15A. Well, that's pretty cool. However, so D isn't really what we want. So we want to get into the UK. So to change the to zones, we turn off, hold down the AF key. And we hopefully push that together, it should start flashing. There we go. E, F, 9, not sure what that is. H, I, J, not sure what that is. L, N, U. I wonder if that's supposed to be UK. Should we give that a go? I think we hold that down to stop it. Or Oh, there we go. Yeah, so we've now got we're back into the uh, the UK there. <clears throat> See if we can change into the Euroband. Oh no, we can't. We're locked on the um, the FM UK. So that's changed because before it was easy just to keep pressing out to go AM, FM, and Euroband. But now we're locked on the UK. So let's just stay <coughs> in the UK for a moment. And uh, let's go into the menu system now and see if we've got any way that we can adjust that power. And we, sh we should have an extra option. So to go into the menu system, hold down the F key. And here we go. So that's the background colour. That's the key beep. That's the Roger bleep. That's the squelch, I believe. Oh, we go. Look. RFP. So that must be RF power. So if I press that, low, medium, high. Oh, that's cool. So there you go, so that's the settings. So I think we should now test those. We'll test those on low, medium, on high on the UK FM and uh, see what we get. Let me zoom out a little bit. So here we go then, FM UK channel 20 into the dummy load, for low power, key up, 4.24 watts. So yeah, that's about the same, isn't it? We tested it on Euroband before. So just slightly above legal power, no problem. All right, let me now change that into medium power. All right, okay, so we're now on medium power. And let's now see. Oh, that's, yeah, there you go. Hopefully you can see that. 8.4 watts, 8.39, 8.4 watts. So that's doubled the power output. I'm just a bit concerned how hot that's gonna get. And let's go for the high power then. There we go, power high. Uh, let's test. Blimey. So 18.5 watts. That's more than 15, isn't it? Bloody hell, that's pretty good actually. Yeah, 18.3 watts. I am a little concerned on, because as, as that got quite hot on legal power, I'm a little bit concerned what that's going to be like when we start running it. I can't test AM, unfortunately, on this band. Let's see if I can change the band. Let me change the band and then we'll see if we, we do a test on the AM. Right, I've changed bands. I've gone into band A. I'm not sure exactly what that corresponds with, but it allows me to choose AM. So I've set it on to low power on AM. I'm going to key up now. Yep, yeah, four, just under four and a half watts on AM, and now I'm going to uh, change that.
Okay, so you've only got low and high on AM, there's no medium now. So we'll change that into high and high power on AM. 8 point, just a fraction under 9 watts on AM power. So uh, that's quite impressive. Well, there you go, by accident, I just managed to get the UK AM. And the way I did that was I left it on AM on another band, changed it to UK, and now it's locked on the UK AM. I can't switch it back to FM quite so easily, but that does give you the AM on the UK. We do a power test, so it'll be the same 8 watt size, you think. Yeah, about 8.9 watts on UK AM. Oh, there you go. I got it back to on FM. I just pressed the emergency button there, which went to channel 9 and channel 19, and that swapped it back to FM. So it's a little bit more difficult to go from AM to FM, but personally, I don't use AM, unfortunately, in the UK. Just one last test before I finish this review. Now, the manual says the maximum current draw of the radio was 2 amps, but I'm not sure whether that was at 18 watts or at 4 watts, I imagine it was probably the higher. So we're just going to connect it up here to an ammeter. Just check, this is probably important if you were taking this DX thing on a hillside, lithium ion battery pack or something, you might want to work out how much current this draws. Right, so we're just on receive now. Um, yeah, very little, look, point, point 0.2 of an amp basically. And um, this is on high power at its 18 watt setting. Oh, there you go, that's not too bad. So, 2.5 2 amps, so 2.5. There we go, so 2.5 amps maximum draw. I'm going to bring this one to a close now. Let's just say this, this little SWR power meter that I've got, this came in for review, by the way. It's a nice little meter. If you didn't see that video, I'll leave a little pop up at the end and I'll leave a link in the description if you're interested in uh, checking that out. It's not bench quality equipment is it it's just a little power meter it says 18 watts um in fairness it could be because the maximum draw of the radio was supposed to be two watts it's drawing two and a half it says 18 let's split the difference they say 15 maximum that's saying eight let's say it's doing about 16 17 watts still quite good just for a little jumper mod now any modification that you make to the radio is going to be at your own risk radio oddity sell this radio at the legal 4 watts power. Making this mod also will make the radio illegal to use in the UK on CB frequencies. It probably will also invalidate the Radio Oddity guarantee as well. As for use of the radio, this did get pretty hot, pretty warm in the shack when I did the testing on the previous video. In fairness, looking back on that, it was a very, very hot day. It was 32 degrees centigrade ambient temperature in the shack. Even the camera started to complain and gave me a hot, hot message come up on a display. So it was a hot day, but it did get quite warm. Now, if you're going to be running this at, which is effectively three times the power, this is going to get hotter. Long term, is that going to affect the radio? shorten its life maybe uh, overload the final transistor honestly don't know no no idea but it is possible so it comes at a risk but on the other hand that is a simple little mod and uh, you can't argue 16 17 18 watts out is quite an effective amount of power especially if you're DXing and you need everything that uh, you can get so there you go I hope this video has been helpful to you there's the thumbs up from Fred in the Shed. Just please take a second, give me the thumbs up below. I'd appreciate uh, appreciate that. And I'm sure in the future, I'll be featuring this radio in the shack in future videos. But as for now, as always, thanks for sticking with the video. Thanks for your view time. Do really appreciate it. I'm only a small channel. There's the thumb from Fred in the Shed. Cheers. Stay safe. Look after each other. Catch you on the next one. Cheers, guys. Okay.